ex-girlfriend, 27 female, aborted our child impulsively at five months. Unsure how to handle. I'm writing with a heavy heart since she, my ex-girlfriend, 27 female, aborted our kid one year into our relationship, five months into the pregnancy, and three days before we were to move across the nation together. I'm writing this as a cry for assistance because a part of me recognizes how poisonous a relationship I'm in, but I can't seem to escape the feeling that I've done something wrong and that the end of this relationship was my fault. Part of me blames myself for not getting over key realities in the relationship and way she hurt me. I see she is immature and selfish, and maybe part of me is as well for allowing her to affect me. I finally got the courage to take action, yet I felt the need to express myself. I have no close friends or relatives that are prepared to listen to me air this out since they have been advising me not to date her from the beginning, which I did stupidly so. Here I am reaching out to the internet. I no longer have a circle of support since my family no longer supports me, despite the fact that I always manage to find my way back to her. Friends, I gave up during the year as she informed me she was having issues with several groups of friends one after the other, and therefore I felt awkward slash guilty confiding in them since I had given them up for her. To begin, I am 28 male, and my ex-girlfriend is 27. We are both normal folks with no known psychological or mental problems. In February 2020, we met via Facebook dating. We had been dating for a month when we decided to be exclusive. She had allowed me use her phone a week into our exclusive arrangement, when a message from another man appeared up. I read it, and I discovered she was having with other individuals she met on the app based on her talks, and she was still talking to other men on the app, which I was oblivious of the whole time we were dating since she had told me she was only seeing me. I dismissed this as a result of our relationship being too fresh and her lack of affection for me. When confronted, she first lied to me before ultimately admitting it when I strongly informed her I had evidence. She said she wasn't committed to me, so she did what she did, and she was unsure about me. I remained anyhow, thinking to myself that maybe I had been confused in speaking with her about the parameters of this new connection. It ate at me the year we went out, and I always had insecurity and trust problems with her, which led to frequent disagreements. The discussions would begin with me trying to clear up facts about what had transpired between us and why she did those things, only for her to never accept her mistakes. I was afraid that if she didn't accept her mistakes, she'd start cheating all over again. Because of my uneasiness over what happened between us, the disagreements usually ended with me apologizing. We both moved in together almost accidentally mid March 2020, due to quarantine, and therefore, over the course of the year, we formed this toxic connection. Unintentionally, because of the lockdown, we began spending more and more time slash nights together and eventually decided to formally move in together. I wish I had seen the big red flags and character defects in her lying and cheating so early in the relationship, as well as her lack of remorse and continued attempt to fake her way out of it. Though it may have been intrusive of me, her going through my phone and deleting messages and friends from my social media slash going through my messages and photos, I played private investigator and over the course of a year as I wanted to know the person I was getting in bed with and her history in and out. I'd begun incessantly looking through her phone. We moved in together at the start of quarantine and over the course of a year, I looked through years of her texts and discovered she had previously cheated on her lovers. I questioned her about it as well, and it took months for her to eventually open up and tell me she changed because of me, and that people change when there's a reason to, referring to her turning from a cheater because of me and for me. It took months because if I brought anything up, she would shut up on me, become emotional, cry get furious, or threaten to leave which is another recurring theme when addressing the wrong she has done to me. I'll confess that the adultery that occurred between us initially was a cause of contention, and our disagreements became poisonous. So much so that we would dispute every day, sometimes for hours on end. Anytime I brought up my fears about the relationships and expressed my sadness slash disappointment over what occurred originally she threatened to leave and thus me attempting to convince her to remain in order for her to see her mistakes and how she viewed this connection as disposable. What she did was a sort of emotional abuse, in my opinion. I assumed the position of 
a quasi-parent attempting to assist her to make better life choices. Being relatively successful at such a young age, I operated a highly successful company in my early 20s that enabled me to be financially independent. I believed I could encourage her to make smart decisions as well. I now recognize that attempting to assist someone with such moral flaws was a mistake, as was the emotional abuse and manipulation she subjected me to. Since we've been living together, she's threatened to leave on many occasions and I've begged her not to. As a consequence, she phoned the cops on me in a few cases. I have never struck or hit her, but she has physically hit me many times. She confesses to fraudulently calling the cops on me. She has thrown stuff from my balcony on many occasions. She would continuously threaten to leave since she is aware that the place we reside in is dangerous, only to use her safety as a bargaining point. She once jumped over the balcony when I attempted to break up with her. The police were called, and she was hospitalized for 24 hours on suicide watch. She claims she is not suicidal, but she later tells me she did it to control me in the hopes that I would give in. When we quarrel, she says she wants me to pursue her. I know I made a mistake in allowing her to remain, and I now understand she has no respect for me and will never have because of the times I've been there for her no matter what. Let's fast forward to about a year into our relationship. We discovered she was pregnant. We opted to retain the child. I had spent the whole year preparing to relocate for this girl who was intending to attend college. Being financially independent, I chose to spend the following year liquidating my belongings in preparation for her relocation and for our future life and kid, not thinking of myself as I could be slash live wherever I wanted. We had a significant dispute three days before relocating, five months into the pregnancy, and I left that night. I returned the following morning to see her cousin there. They called the cops on me, accusing me of trespassing and telling me to leave while all my belongings were locked inside the apartment with no way for me to get them or enter the premises since it was not in my name. A day later, she contacts me and informs me that she had an abortion. I couldn't believe it I was torn. I decided to break all links with her, and because the apartment we had reserved for our cross-country relocation was in my name, I chose to go on my own. Big blunder. The first week, I messaged her and told her I was breaking up with her a few days later, I messaged her again, this time guiltily, apologizing for the anguish I had caused her and accepting responsibility for all that had transpired. I can't believe she's making me feel like I'm the one who did something wrong and that the abortion was my responsibility. I couldn't help but think of all the good things we had. We eventually reconciled and she moved in with her belongings. We broke up again last week after a stupid petty disagreement and I realize she doesn't care about my well-being or safety and always puts herself first. I got the impression she had no guilt for the errors she committed or the sorrow she said she felt following the abortion. She said that she was delighted she had the abortion and that she was still not over her ex from over five years ago. She stopped me from all kinds of contact since it was yet another instance of my doing wrong, and it has taken me this long to grasp her proclivity to emotionally torture me. Part of me believes that everything that has occurred is my fault and that I, as the person I am, brought it all on myself. I'll confess that I'm not perfect, that I have a quick temper, and that I have insecurity slash trust problems as a consequence of what occurred. That is why I keep returning to her. She argues she does not deserve the treatment and lack of concern for her emotional needs caused by my ranting and swearing, but I believe she purposefully pushes me to this point as it drives me insane that she is never willing to accept her flaws. I'm not sure how to walk out of this relationship since it seems poisonous and manipulative to me, and she knows I care about her and would do everything for her. In exchange, I know she will end things with me without guilt or concern. How do I ensure that I entirely disconnect from this while also coping with my sadness as a consequence of this roller coaster? I desperately want someone to tell me what an awful person she is. A part of me knows it, yet I keep coming back. My reason was pure love. Part of me believes I was weak and desperate, and that I used love as an excuse for being treated like a dog. I now understand the error of my ways and have taken efforts to remove her from my life. How can I be sure I stick to this? Many people have suggested that I visit a therapist, but I am so put off by the concept that maybe I just need that push. 
Even after the abortion, I believed we had a fighting chance, and we had a lengthy discussion about the whole relationship. But after our final disagreement and the last time I saw her, it's suddenly my fault since I can't move over the abortion in her eyes. Is there any relationship that has ever been repaired after such a horrific wreck?